Eleventh Day of Waiting on God by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Waiting on God Patiently. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the land. Psalm 37, verses 7 and 9. In patience possess your souls. Ye have need of patience. Let patience have its perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire. Such words of the Holy Spirit show us what an important element in the Christian life and character patience is. And nowhere is there a better place for cultivating or displaying it than in waiting on God. There we discover how impatient we are and what our impatience means. We confess at times that we are impatient with men and circumstances that hinder us, or with ourselves and our slow progress in the Christian life. If we truly set ourselves to wait upon God, we shall find that it is with Him we are impatient, because He does not at once, or as soon as we could wish, do our bidding. It is in waiting upon God that our eyes are opened to believe in His wise and sovereign will, and to see that the sooner and the more completely we yield absolutely to it, the more surely His blessing can come to us. It is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. We have as little power to increase or strengthen our spiritual life as we had to originate it. We were born not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the will of God. Even so, our willing and running, our desire and effort avail naught. All is of God that showeth mercy. All the exercises of the spiritual life, our reading and praying, our willing and doing, have their very great value. But they can go no farther than this, that they point the way and prepare us in humility to look to and depend alone upon God Himself, and in patience to wait His good time and mercy. The waiting is to teach us our absolute dependence upon God's mighty working, and to make us, in perfect patience, place ourselves at His disposal. They that wait on the Lord shall inherit the land, the promised land, and its blessing. The heirs must wait, they can afford to wait. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. The margin gives rest in the Lord, be silent to the Lord, or, revised version, be still before the Lord. It is resting in the Lord, in His will, His promise, His faithfulness, and His love, that makes patience easy. And the resting in Him is nothing but being silent unto Him, still before Him. Having our thoughts and wishes, our fears and hopes, hushed into calm and quiet in that great peace of God which passeth all understanding. That peace keeps the heart and mind when we are anxious for anything, because we have made our request known to Him. The rest, the silence, the stillness, and the patient waiting all find their strength and joy in God Himself. The needs be and the reasonableness and the blessedness of patience will be opened up to the waiting soul. Our patience will be seen to be the counterpart of God's patience. He longs far more to bless us fully than we can desire it. But as the husbandman has long patience till the fruit be ripe, so God bows himself to our slowness and bears long with us. Let us remember this, and wait patiently. Of each promise and every answer to prayer the word is true, I the Lord will hasten it in its time. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. Yes, for Him. Seek not only the help, the gift, thou needest seek Himself, wait for Him. Give God His glory by resting in Him, by trusting Him fully, by waiting patiently for Him. This patience honours Him greatly. It leaves Him as God on the throne to do His work. 
it yields self wholly into his hands. It lets God be God. If thy waiting be for some special request, wait patiently. If thy waiting be more the exercise of the spiritual life seeking to know and have more of God, wait patiently. Whether it be in the shorter specific periods of waiting, or as the continuous habit of the souls, rest in the Lord, be still before the Lord, and wait patiently. They that wait on the Lord shall inherit the land. My soul, wait thou only upon God. End of 11th day.